Hi guys, uh, it's Coach Goodrich here. Um, another video. This one is going to be, and this is going to be in a series of workout related videos um, during these times. We're going to be staying at home. Um, some things that you can do, uh, some things I expect my, my team to be able to do um, so that we can hit the ground running when things finally get back to normal, and they will. Um, this is going to be our post workout static stretching routine, seated stretching routine as well. Static stretching after workouts as opposed to dynamic stretching, dynamic warm-up, which is going to be before. So this is our post-workout stuff right here. Got eight exercises that we're going to do specifically, or eight stretches that we're going to do. So let's get started. First one, going to be your V sit and reach. So you're going to go two sets of 10 seconds at the right leg, left leg, and in the middle. As far as you can, keep your legs on the ground, reach out, cut the toe, Try and bring the toe back to your face. Two sets of 10 seconds. Everything that we do is going to be two sets of 10 seconds. Now, then you got your L stretch. It's going to be kind of awkward looking, right? So, once again, two sets of 10 seconds. Playing flat down. You're going to reach out your leg this side like this. Keep it slightly above the ground and try and bring your leg up to your face. Keep your leg straight as you're going through it. You don't want to have any, only go up as high as you can keep your legs straight. Um, if not, you're going to have your knee bent, and it's not going to give you nearly as good a stretch as you can possibly, even if you can only go a little bit. Then you got the cross body one. So play the same thing. You're going to go across over the body this way, leaving the shoulder blades on the ground. Keep the leg straight. You're not going to be able to go up as high as you would on a normal L stretch. And that's okay. And then get your quad pull. Laying on your side. Put your hand around the foot and pull. Doesn't have to be a big, strong pull. A little gentle pull is fine. You'll feel that quad stretching right here. Two sets of 10 on each leg for all of those. 10 seconds a piece. Uh, if you have a stretch band at home or a workout band at home, you can also wrap those around your feet to do it and add a little resistance, especially for some of you more. Flexible speed, guys, that is tremendous. That is a great way to not only stretch your hamstrings, but if you have a little bit of back pain, you're a little sore, great way to get rid of that soreness. Next one's gonna be the figure four. So, knees up, cross over, grab opposite knee, pull it back to your face. What it looks like from the side, same thing. Knees up, cross over, and back to the face. You want to try to leave your head and shoulders on the ground and pull the knee back to your face. It's the only thing that should be moving. Hold that. Once again, two sets of 10 seconds on each leg with each knee crossed. You're going to roll over. You got seal stretch. Feel this in your back, upper body and shoulders a little bit too. Two sets of 10 seconds like this. Up to kneeling. Get that knee really far out there and press into it. This is going to be exercise seven, the kneeling hip stretch. Two sets of 10 seconds. Side view of what this should look like. Really want to kind of get a nice wide base, force your hips into the ground. And the last thing that we got, and you can do this standing, you can do this kneeling. I'm going to kneel so I can get in, in the film. We got... Big, slow arm rotations. Forward, two sets of 10, two sets of 10, going backwards. And while you're doing that, you can also get some neck rotations and they're nice, big, slow, two sets of 10. All right, thanks for watching. That is our post-workout stretching routine. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to me and I can walk you through everything. Thank you.